So I thought it might be a good time to compare the new Galaxy A53 5G versus the Motorola Edge 2021 to see which is the better option considering they're both right at that $450 in the United States as of this video. You get 128 gigabytes of storage with six gigabytes of RAM for the Galaxy A53, but you get double the storage with the Motorola Edge and eight gigabytes of RAM instead of only six. Both are great options for the price, really. I mean, there's flagship phones that don't give you 256 gigabytes of storage as the base model. You're gonna get a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display on the Galaxy A53 with 1800 by 2400 resolution. Then on the Motorola Edge, you get a 6.8 inch LCD display, 1080 by 2460 resolution. On the Motorola Edge, you can watch YouTube videos at 2160p, only 1080p resolution on the Galaxy A53, at least with the versions that I have. Maybe there's gonna be a future update. And then you can watch full HD playback resolution in Netflix on both phones. Nice thing is you get up to 120 hertz refresh rate on the Galaxy A53, up to 144 hertz on the Motorola Edge. Both are plenty bright enough for most situations. They both feel nice and smooth when doing just about anything. Now, as far as brightness goes, Samsung's gonna win this one pretty easily. Not only is it brighter, but it also has better viewing angles. You get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in both of these, which is actually pretty nice and becoming more of a normal thing in 2022. The A53 lasted 12 and a half hours in my battery drain test, while the Motorola Edge lasted about nine hours before dying in the same test. So not bad for Motorola, but not quite as good as Samsung when it comes to battery life. And yeah, this Samsung phone is gonna be right up there with some of the best battery life that I've tested. Now keep in mind, that's at full screen brightness, streaming video for almost 13 hours straight. You can easily get through two days of normal usage, probably even more if you turn the screen brightness down. And then obviously there's a lot of variables depending on what kind of stuff you're doing on your phone. But yeah, if you want the phone with better battery life, then yeah, you're gonna wanna go with Samsung. You also get fast charging for both 30 watt turbo power for the Motorola Edge, 25 watt fast charging for the Galaxy A53. Another thing that's gonna be slightly different is you've got the fingerprint scanner on the power button for Motorola and then right on the front of the screen for Samsung. Not really a huge difference in my opinion. They're both gonna get the job done and I don't feel like one is a whole lot faster than the other. It's just gonna come down to personal preference. Since the Motorola Edge is on Android 11, Galaxy A53 is on Android 12, Samsung is gonna win when it comes to which is gonna get software updates longer. But if you're upgrading your phone every two years anyways, that might not be an issue. But as far as software updates go, the Galaxy A53 is gonna get software updates for four years, five years security updates. So that's really good for a mid-range phone. Chances are you're gonna get another year or so of software support for the Motorola Edge, which is sort of one of the downsides to Motorola phones and a lot of other Android phones really is they just don't support them long enough in my opinion especially compared to Samsung, Google, and then obviously Apple. So in my opinion I actually like the software on both of these phones it's just you get a lot better software support down the road with Samsung. So depending on if you like the software better on Motorola over Samsung I don't know to me I kind of like both and really it's going to be personal preference on which one is better. While these definitely are not considered gaming phones, I feel like both phones do a pretty good job at gaming and during my testing, PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 seem to play just fine on here. They didn't seem to stutter or slow down or have overheating issues. I think most people are gonna enjoy playing games on either phone. Just keep in mind, these aren't gonna be the best graphics out there or the best frame rates, but I still think most people are gonna enjoy playing games on either phone. Now, unfortunately, they got rid of the headphone jack on the Galaxy A53, but at least it's got a speaker on the bottom plus by the earpiece, 
where the Motorola Edge only has sound coming from the bottom of the phone. When you compare the two, Samsung definitely sounds better, especially once you turn on Dolby Atmos. But I feel Motorola is gonna be fine for most people. I'm not sure how important speakers are when people are buying their cell phones, considering I'm always using Bluetooth in my car or Bluetooth headphones. But here's a quick sample of each, just to give you an idea of what to expect. When it comes to the cameras on these two, you've got a quad camera setup on the back of the A53 with a 64 megapixel main lens, 12 megapixel wide angle, and then a five megapixel macro and depth lens. Then on the Moto Edge, you get a triple camera setup where the main lens can go up to 108 megapixel. You also get an ultra wide that's eight megapixels with macro vision and a two megapixel depth sensor. You also get a 32 megapixel front facing camera for both phones, and you're gonna get up to 4K 30 frames per second for video recording. Sometimes I feel like the shutter speed could be a tad faster on the Galaxy A53, but you can actually get some pretty nice photos and video from both phones with good lighting. Here's some samples of photos and video just to give you an idea of what to expect from each device. So that's about all the time I've got for this one. Hopefully this gave you a little closer look at the new Galaxy A53 5G and the Motorola Edge 2021. I've got a lot more phone and tablet comparisons to work on, so you'll definitely wanna look out for those. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,